Yep, ready. Hello, 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 my friends. Welcome back to Maker Bootcamp. We are so excited to have you. Day three. Lauren, I'm getting a little, I'm not, I'm not lying. I'm getting a little tired. Like these, these live events are so much fun. And the crafts this week, I mean, we are showing up and showing out. Like yeah. these, these projects are so special to I me. I know. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's Wednesday, but it kind of feels like Friday. Like it should be a Friday, but listen, we've still, we're still giving it our all for you guys. Oh my gosh. We are this still is, giving it our all. It's so good. So welcome back to Maker Bootcamp day three. I highly, highly, highly want to encourage anyone that has not been a part of bootcamp. If this is your first day here as a camper, um, I want to encourage you to go back, watch day one, watch day two for sure Z's. Okay. My friends, November 1st, November 2nd, we had two previous ones. Yesterday, we mastered print and cut together. It was unreal at how amazing the project turned out. Like, what did you guys think about day one and day two? Um, on day one, we made a front porch sign. We made poor Michael sell out of their uh, little signs, I which know. was hilarious. <laughs> um, so it's a lot of fun. Did Has anybody changed Hobby Lobby to see if we sell Hobby Lobby out? Oh, oh, for the sign. For the sign. I bet they had a lot more of them. Okay. Like, I think Michael's just had a low inventory, so that was a little, yeah. little fun. Now, today we are featuring a, a hot product that is in the Cricut space that we had to try out for this live stream. And here's why, my friends. So, in today's links down below, we have a few special offers. You can grab our best deal membership. Our Black Friday deal is available for you um, on all our deals. So they're available today, link down below. I wanna encourage anyone that's here that does not have a membership to go over, grab your membership today, my friends. Say yes to crafting with us for a full 365. We want you to be there for every single release over the next 52 weeks. All you have to do is say yes to your membership, use the coupon code BEST, and you're in. But what I also wanna share is that we wanna teach you how to make the best pro quality projects. Lauren, do you not want the best quality projects in your home? Oh, absolutely. I don't want something that looks like it's just been thrown together. Exactly. We wanna make crafts. Our goal is to make crafts that look like you went and spent a lot of money on. And they're gonna be so many the like store. the mm. ones that are being prepped for live streams coming up. I mean, y'all, it's unbelievable. But we also wanna make sure you have the best quality. So today we are using Flex Seal because I think you're gonna be blown away a, at how well it works, B, the durability, and C, there's no more tanner spending two hours dabbing with the acrylic paint. Lauren, I've oh. so many of these doormats, <laughs> and I just dab, 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 and the whole hour is spent dabbing, like, with the paint. So today we have found something to work better. I'm so excited to share it with you, and this is the Flex Seal. So this is a special part of today's doormat. You're gonna love it. I cannot wait for you guys to see it and then try it for yourself. I wanna encourage you to recreate all the projects we have here at Boot Camp. I wanna remind you guys that today we are giving away this amazing coach handbag to one lucky member that registered for the giveaway um, via our registration sign up form on the Maker Bootcamp page. I have the winner, we just chose it. Every day we choose the winner um, after noon Eastern. So you enter one time and you have access to everything. Like you get entered to win everything. You can only win one um, thing per bootcamp. So today we're giving away our mini easy press. And what's so awesome is this is the secret weapon for today's project. You're gonna love seeing this mini easy press come together and um, work on the doormat. Like, I mean, isn't the mini easy press a secret weapon for everything though? I love it. And what's so funny is when it first came out, I was like, this is a waste. No, I mm -hmm. could I could make all my Cricut projects just off of just off the mini and I would be fine with it. We use this at our not one boot camp and it's been amazing. So Lauren, what's everyone saying in the chat? What's going on? I mean, a lot of people are saying that Flex Seal is where it's so at. So they already know the secret. They, and they I must love have it. I don't know why they didn't let us in on the secret earlier. I don't know. But they, they, they're <laughs> saying awesome. that Flex Seal is 
Yay! Where it's at for door mats. I love it. I love it. Well, guys, again, I want to encourage you to get plugged into the membership. Grandfather yourself in if you haven't already. We will be adding a place to our website to um, direct anyone that needs to grandfather themselves in. Until then, email customer service and there will be a special link for you guys. Um, but if you're a brand new member, say yes today. You get instant access to thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts, and we just added 10 courses on top of the 10 we already provided completely free for you as a member. So what are you waiting for? Say yes today and get access to all the goodness, my friends. All you have to do is use that coupon code BEST at checkout when you are saying yes to membership. The lowest price of the year, locked in forever. If we raise our rates, you are locked in at the lowest price ever. So we are so, so excited. And yay, do we get to learn how to do this? Yes, you're at boot camp and we are a crafting boot camp here. So we're about to jump in to the project and share with you all the supplies needed. I have a design space little training to do um, so that you can design this yourself. Lauren, I used one basic shape, one font, I know. one cut file. So easy. This so is not easy. hard. Somebody, I think it was Yvette up here said, maybe hey. we can convince, maybe we can buy enough flex so that we can convince them to start making other colors. Oh my gosh. That would be amazing. I mean, if they could do this, I want to see this in a lot of different colors for doormats, oh, for yeah. all sorts of things. I mean, this may be good enough to stop a leak, but it's gonna be even better to make my doormat. You better believe so, it. So it's gonna be fantastic. Monica's first time live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yay. Cheryl, we do prefer Flex Seal. Imagine, I mean, today you're gonna see it in person, but imagine dabbing and like doing it two or three times to get it to look this good or just spraying. Just nice, slow spraying right here. Oh, Karen says they do have about 10 colors. <gasps> okay, we're uh, going to research I'm about colors. to go check we're it out to right now. Colors. That's awesome, Karen. Also, I love that. we did have someone ask earlier if they can use the bigger um, press. So, yeah, you can totally and use yeah, the larger, absolutely. larger press. I like using the smaller one for when it comes down to the time where you just need to put, you know, these smaller letters down and things like that. Um, I just have more control. I can see where I need it, need to give more time, more pressure, things like that. So you'll see why we pick what we use. We're also featuring a few other things today. We're using the freezer paper technique. It's still my hands down favorite way to make a doormat. Um, so I'm just gonna put all the material here and just pick it up and kind of talk to you what you need. You're gonna need freezer paper. You're gonna need a 12 by 24 mat. I'm using a lot grit mat today. This is our 12 by 24 mat. It's awesome with the freezer paper. We also have butcher's paper. Now guys, we're in a very well ventilated studio. I want you to know, open a door, do what you need to do. Go outside if you can to spray this because we want to make sure you are safe. We're in a very large, well ventilated studio. What I'm using butcher's paper for today is to mask off around the doormat, okay? That's what we're using to protect our surface when it comes time to spray. I want you to see the spray results as well. So that's why we're doing it right here in the studio. But be in a well ventilated area for any time you're pulling out spray paint. Like we cannot ask you like epoxy spray paint, all that stuff. Take care of yourself, wear a mask if you feel more comfortable and things like that. So yay, I love Honestly, it. Honestly, what I love about this project is other than the mat, these you things should have are to buy. these things are things that you should have with like have on you yes you may not have the flex seal but yeah the flex seal in the five to eight dollar doormat but there was somebody on here said that they were just going to raid their husband's stash if they're yes. in the garage yes absolutely easy easy, easy. the doormats i want to let you guys know we've linked some doormats for you other places you can check hobby lobby target um ikea those are three places uh home depot tried and true places to get your doormats so that's fantastic um again today my friends we are giving away the mini easy press so if you're entered to win um the link's down below to get registered for that butcher's paper i bought this big old thing from amazon you could also buy it at a home depot for butcher's paper it's gonna be fantastic so and this we can be done on a regular maker correct this can be done yes. on any machine explore to maker series we are utilizing our fine point blade my friends so anytime that i'm making a project with my fine point blade you are able to rock this on an explorer on a maker whatever machine you would like to craft with so it is going to be so much fun 
and we are ready to jump into it. So who's ready to get crafty? Go ahead, throw me up an emoji. I wanna see how interactive we're gonna be today because the more that you show up, the more that you comment, the more we're gonna pour out for you guys. So give me some emojis here if you're ready to see all the designing and get started here. We have 423 viewers oh, currently. So many great yes. campers. I know. I'm I so like it. I'm so impressed with everybody this week this showing is awesome. up. And you all and are saying y'all are telling us that we're showing up, but I feel like you guys are, are the ones that are showing up yes. and showing out. We love and we are it. we are so glad you're we're here. I'm so so excited. This is the what you need to kick off your holiday season right, okay? Look at all these emojis. Yay. Yes, I love it, love it, love it. Well guys. It's awesome. Thank you so much for showing up here again. If you're on the fence about membership, I want to encourage you while we're crafting today, take a look at our join page. Take a look at everything you get and know that all the bonuses we've talked about our life coaching program, Makers Gonna Thrive, um, the 10 additional courses, the brand new 2021 Cricut course training that's exclusive. You get a workbook with homework activities, you get the training videos, very direct training that's not included on YouTube. You get that when you say yes to your membership, my friend. So we're excited for you. But let's go ahead, let's head on over to Design Space and take a look at our project. Now, this looks a little you know, special, a little complicated, but it's really not at all. I'm closing out some of this. I like to share with you guys the finished project first so that you know what we're working towards. So this right here is what we're working towards today. We are working with, again, one cut file, one shape, one font. That, I mean, one of every area really, That's it. not much at all. So it's gonna be fantastic. I think each one of us, whether you are a beginner or you are an expert cricketer, is going to be able to take this tutorial and replicate it yourself, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna zoom out and you're going to want to grab our SVG snowflake pattern from makersgonnalearn.com. Now, if you are not aware, when you join Makers Gonna Learn, you get access to our thousands of cut falls. Spoiler alert, y'all, we have a thousand just 1,000 alone Christmas cut falls. So we are gonna top in Snow Flake. And let me see if I can share with you the exact file we're using. So you get 1,000. So if you're wanting to make your handmade holiday, definitely get plugged in with us. We have a lot of snowflakes to choose from, but we are going to use the snowflake pattern. And this Debbie, Miss Debbie says ready to partay. Mm -hmm. I love it, my friend. You are awesome. So yay. So this is what you'll download. And again, go over to the cut fall area, check out all of the cut falls we have. It will literally take care of so much of your crafting needs. And Miss Lisa says, I got my membership last year. Do I need to do anything to renew? If your credit card changed, if anything like that changed, I would update it. Um, but if not, you're good to go. That's awesome. So here's what we're working with today. I'm going to go ahead and you want to measure your mat. So our mat measures 30 inches by 18 inches. So this right here, we're going to borrow. So this is now our doormat. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our snowflake and we have to contour out a few of these extra snowflakes. So I contoured a ton on the live um, on, on Monday. So we're going to contour again, three simple buttons. We're going to contour here. We're going to contour here and we're going to contour here and here and then i'm going to get these extra little shapes so I'll, this is when i like to just scroll through and hide these okay really easy all right so we're going to click x and now we have our shape now i'm going to change the shape to white so we changed it to white and then what i'm going to do is kind of take it here and kind of move it up a little bit just so that I can kind of see what size it will be. So this looks good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to size it down just a little actually. I don't know exactly what I should do here. We'll, we'll play around with it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to slice it right here in the middle. So let me share with you how we're going to slice this in the middle. Let's go ahead and zoom in to this layer. And we're going to take this shape icon and another shape. 
and we're going to unlock it, just like so. And we're going to make it a small rectangle. And then we're going to take it right here. So I place this very small rectangle that was a square. I size it right in the middle. So what I'm about to do is teach you guys how to slice this. And then you will see the cut file turns into two layers. So we want to now select our rectangle and select our snowflake. And we are going to select slice. Ta-da! Boom. One, two, and now you see, oh, this is so interesting. We need to slice out the entire, the entire shape. I had no idea. So let's go back. This is a great learning tip. I thought since they were only connected in one place that it would be good enough. No. So let's unlock this. Let's select here. And now what we're going to do is drag this over just like so. I'm going to bring it over here, make sure that it is long enough, everything like that. All right. So now that I sized it like so, we are going to be able to take it and repeat that. Ta-da! And press slice. All right, let's see. We still have not been able to slice it. Can you take that box and move it all the way up over the snowflake and then... Oh, you know what? That is what we could do. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so I need to unlock it. I'm going to get a whole new square because my little icons mm -hmm. are driving me wild. My little icons are driving me wild. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So Lauren said, let's try grabbing a shape. Yep. And this is fun. Like, this is... I actually love sharing with you guys different ways to do this because look and then slice that we're going to drag this go. right here and then look we're going to be able to select this drag and drop we're going to press slice Ta -da! there you go awesome idea lauren thank you beautiful look at this two different layers one way or another we were going to rock it so we can go ahead and zoom out and then as you can see here we're going to be able to now you know start playing around with this and see what we may need to make this fit. So you can go ahead and size this down and you could leave it locked too if that's better for you. You could scale this down a little. You can make sure it's now the same size. So I'm gonna scale this down a tad bit. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Now I do have a trick. So the best part about this is you don't have to line this up perfect on the mat. This is really just a design part for you. You know, you're still going to have to line it when you cut it too. But for the sake of today's video, you are going to want to have this lined up. Um, so just keep it lined up and then you can press shift and drag it down. That will help you a lot. All right. So now that we have that there, this is taken care of. You can zoom on in and look what we're about to do guys. So now that we have our snowflake, we actually just need to add our rectangles. So we're going to grab another shape. We're gonna grab a square and I'm gonna change this to white. Awesome. And I'm going to ungroup it, unlock the size proportion. Awesome. And we're gonna drag this out and over. Loving this hack, Melissa. You're, this is going to make your stuff look so store-bought. Like, so store-bought, so custom. It's going to be unbelievable. Okay. So now what we're doing is we're going to take this here. Boom. Look at that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this shape. And we're going to go ahead and drag this one down here at the bottom. And make sure your layers end up touching because we're going to weld them together very shortly. So we have that selected. We have this selected. Now, my friends, if you want your safety, I do want to encourage you, if you like how this is placed, if it's touching, anything like that, go ahead and weld it. And here's why. It's going to kind of keep you in line for your project. Um, it's going to have it welded. It's going to be solid. Okay. But if you're wanting to make this as big as we're doing today, I would not do that yet because what we're going to cut it like is our letters on one with part of the snowflake 
and the other snowflake is on the other part. I actually forgot this is a two map project. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna share with you when to weld everything after we do our final part. Now, Lauren, this I'll, was a few steps, but yeah, like, we're almost done. I know, but and it's one of those things like, I would probably go ahead and weld that bottom part, the snowflake and that line together. Yeah, we could do that. That way that it does it. It's move. not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. And then you can add in your font Look and then that. weld all the rest of it together. Yeah, so maybe you're here today and you're like, Tanner, I've never, <gasps> can I have the main camera? Yolanda's yeah. here today and she says, okay, now I'm lost. Still learning how to use weld, slice, and contour. Yolanda, welcome, 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 my friend. How many of us are out there right now like Yolanda saying, whoa, this is a lot. And because my friend, it is a lot to learn. But we here at Makers Gonna Learn understand that we have beginners that just learned what a cricket is. And we are crafting with people that have been doing this for a decade just like ourselves. But what I wanna let you know is no matter where you fall in between, you are going to get something out of Makers Gonna Learn. Here on the channel, in the membership platform, and so much more. If you're a beginner, Cindy, uh, Denise, Deb, Kathy, Gwen, Faye, Tammy, Mary, Susan. Guys, there's so many. I want to encourage you to take the leap of faith to join the community. Inside the membership, we walk hand and like hand by hand, we walk right by you and teach you the machine from opening the machine to setting the machine up. I have a program called the 30 Days to Master Your Cricket Challenge. This is a 30 day program you get completely free. When you say yes to your machine, today you invested in your machine you're showing up here but i want to help you even more if you are lost if any of you all are brand new trying to figure stuff out i want you to make these projects and i know you're going to be able to make these amazing projects do not do not discredit that but i want to teach you the foundation because if you can lay that foundation and it be solid you're going to be able to pick these projects up and make store-bought items for yourself for others and heck maybe even grow a business yourself with it so in the 30-day program you're getting out of the box, opening the machine. You're getting down, downloading your software, setting up your account, um, terminology to know, design space tour, downloading fonts, downloading uh, cut files, a deep look into design space, my friend, so you're not lost. We have all of that provided for, for you inside the membership in addition to all the other things we've talked about. This is just a free gift that you get when you say yes to membership included if you go yearly with us. So that's another bonus. So anyway, I just want to address that because I want you to make awesome projects like this, but I feel like I would be doing a disservice with all the new friends that we have here um, that are brand new to Cricut. So that's that's something I just love to share with you. Again, you can join today. You've already spent the money on the machine, on supplies. Invest in yourself for the next 52 weeks, 365 days to craft alongside us. You're getting the training. You're getting access to the cut falls. There's a new release almost every Thursday, Lauren. Unless the months that there's five five Thursdays, yep. <laughs> um, you get releases. So that's awesome. You get a gift each week in your inbox with us. So I love it. You read some of these testimonials. I see so many sweet comments. Yay, do join the membership. You'll love it and get the step-by-step -step course to teach you slicing, welding, contouring. We walk with you and we know what you where you need to go and how to get you there. So definitely check that out. Get the year membership. Woohoo! I love it. Hey, Marie. So I just wanted to address that for anyone feeling like, whoa, a little over my head. We have friends that still say, I love the 30 day challenge book. So the commercial license to make money with your machine, unbelievable. And at the end of the day, the membership is 41 cents a day. Mm -hmm. Incredible value, incredible value. I know you're gonna love it. And Deborah, what is stopping you? She said, I've had my maker for over a year and never even unboxed it. Deborah, you have invested in the machine and I want to see you actually using it. So if you've had the machine two Christmases, three Christmases and not used it, this is a reason we can teach you how to open it, get it out of the box, not feel overwhelmed. If you're like, I feel like all these other people know how to use my Cricut and I don't. This is a brand new machine, brand new software. You aren't expected to know anything about it. There's no way. It would no. be like learning a new job with no training. Right. We're here to train you, equip you, so that you can be an amazing crafter yourself. Our membership is on three foundations. 
inspiration, education, and motivation. If you can feel motivated to do it, you can feel inspired to create and then educated what's stopping you. You will have all the confidence in the world to rock your crafts. So Nicole, there I is no it. reason to be intimidated. Listen, no. I can see why it is very 100%. intimidating. I'm going to drink a coffee. Um, very, I 100% can see why you'd be intimidated. But once you get into the design space and you start um, playing around with it yes. and watching these videos and saying, oh, now that it's going to start clicking and it's yeah. going to start making sense. And then that's where you get to use your creativity and start doing things on your own and branching out it's and so not good. having to do the exact same crafts that we do. Yes, you will be able to take this and you could use these same elements and do this with a um, I don't know, a uh, four leaf clover for a different holiday. You're going to take the principles and the ideas that we give you and you're going to create something your own. I've had a Cricut since 2010. So if it looks like it comes a little natural and I mean, heck, I already made a mistake, like not even slicing properly today. You're still going to do that, but it's about how we're going to react. We're not getting frustrated and hiding the Cricut. We're going to get it out of the box, put it front and center and tackle it. So I love it. You guys are amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Auntie M. Yay. I love it. You guys are awesome. And thank you so much for being vulnerable for the ones that were like, you know what? I am new. I am a little overwhelmed. I want you to still have a great live stream, right? I still want you to enjoy boot camp, learn what you can, but I seriously want to invite you inside our program. If you join today, instant access to everything I've talked about. Um, but I want to see you in the Facebook community. Join that post in there, introduce yourself. I'm in there trying to respond to every person that is in welcoming. I'm welcoming as many members into the community as possible. So yay, I love it. Oh, I love it. Yes, you guys are rocking it. Oh, so Maria said she found 18 by 30 doormat on Hobby Lobby for $7.49 each. That is awesome. Look at that. What what a Christmas gift that would yeah. be for someone for $7.49. Lauren, is it, all our friends are moving. We can just make doormats for them and they'll appreciate them. I know. I love that. So let's jump back over. We're almost in the home stretch of this project but I loved being able to address it. So I'm just gonna go ahead for our friends that need to know what Weld is. Lauren, maybe I should explain what Weld does. I would, yeah. What? So I have two shapes I feel like here. we have a lot of um, yeah. new people on here. I mean, we have our main people on here. Of but course. I, but we also have some new people. So let's and explain to them this, what that is. Yeah, so welding is just like Weld in general. This is taking two shapes and turning it into one. Now, what I like to tell all our students is the layers panel, which is over here on your right hand sidebar, these layers where you see me clicking, this is your secret weapon to design space. This is going to show you what you're doing wrong, what's going on, and it kind of tells you the health of your craft, if you will. How many layers is you got going, right? This is that. So for us today, we have our snowflake layer and we have our square layer. and when I go to cut this, I want this to cut one one shape. Mm -hmm. How do I do that, Lauren? How am I go tell the cricket to do it? And because the cricket can't read our minds. Right. We have to program it. Mm -hmm. So here's what you do. You select this layer, it's highlighted gray. You can see the four shares, like little buttons around there. That means you've selected it. Okay, my friends. Next up, we're going to hold shift down and we're gonna select our other layer. So now we've selected our square and our snowflake. All right. Now that that is selected, we are going to go down to the bottom right hand corner and you'll see that there's a few tools down there. You can see slice, you can see weld, you can see attach and flatten and contour. Now we're simply go press weld. And when we press weld, watch what happens to our layers panel. Those two layers become one. So in three, two, one, one, I'm pressing the button right now, it turns in to a weld result layer. So now we have two beautiful weld result layers. My friends, how easy was mm -hmm. that? Oh my goodness, can I look? My friends, do you, are you starting to pick up what I'm sitting down? That is what is inside of our 30 days to master your Cricut training program. You're going to get a printable book. This is an ebook, so I printed mine out. Um, you're going to get the workbook and you're getting 30 videos that are just like right there, slow and steady. So you're not overwhelmed. We do it together. We give you the assignment to go try yourself. 
you're going to be able to rock it. So if you say yes to your membership, this challenge, complimentary for you included in your membership. So you'll be able to master your machine, lay that solid foundation, and get crafting, because that's what we're here to do. I do not want to hear that you have a machine sitting in the box for a year or two and not doing anything about it. This is what you can do to have a handmade holiday. Like, you could get started today, make Christmas ornaments. Uh -huh. Guys, matching Christmas pajamas with your family is like it makes me feel like a kid again cricket your shirts everybody wear the same plaid pajama bottoms it'll be such a fun family photo like you could cricket that and i feel like it's very easy it's no first of november we opened up our black friday sale pretty much for our friends yeah. that need this i mean you can make something look very you can make your pajamas look high end you don't have to and design get them, and get them from walmart yeah you don't have to design anything we've got the cut falls you can choose from to make some amazing things that's what i did last year i can pull out that photo if you want it so yes you can pick up on this later so i love it Debbie says, I binge watched mine like it was on Netflix. I love that. You guys are awesome. So, all right, let's do the final step. That is adding our font and welding one last time. So over here in Design Space, we're using our Liam font. So our Liam font right here, let me go back. You can find this under our fonts. So when you join today, you're actually getting a ton of stuff, like so mm -hmm. much. Don't even worry about all the stuff you get. Just focus in on what you need For the most. Lot. Yeah. You can download this and keep it for a lot. Yeah. As soon as you download this font, Lauren, it's on your computer. You have it forever. It's done. It's crazy. So this is the Liam font. This is one of the fonts you get when you're a member. Um, you can download this. You can actually buy this on the website by itself. But Lauren, it's like $7. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Especially when there's like almost a thousand. Like you want all access. Right. So that's what you can do over here at Design Space. We're going to open that font up. And now we're going to type out um, a last name. So we're using my grandparents. So um, Gordon's. Does it say? Yeah, this we're going to say the, the Gordon's. Yeah. So let's go over here. And I might do each. So here's a little hack. So working with fonts, I like to do um, each word in its own text box. That's just like personal preference for me. I don't know if you all do that. It's kind of just what we do, what I personally do around here. So then I'll duplicate this and I'll just say the. So select that, the Gordons. And we're gonna change that to a white text box. All right, now we have a few things that we need to do here. This is called manipulating your fonts, um, also known as kerning your fonts. Whichever way you wanna call it, you have the ability to call it either one. Um, so this is what we're going to do here. I'm just positioning this where we want it. For Gordon, I'm going to take a letter space and I'm going to bring it down. So I'm going to connect some of these letters here. Um, and once I'm happy with it, I'm trying to play around with this. I may actually, let's go ahead and zoom in. I highly recommend being able to see your fonts really well. Okay, this is helping me a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to actually ungroup um, this. So I can manually move some of these letters around. So we're going to go ahead and ungroup in the top right hand corner. So and basically what Tanner's doing while he does this is he has taken this font mm -hmm. and it is not a cursive font. It's Correct. actually, it's not a connecting font, but you can manipulate your letters once you ungroup that and bring them to kind of overlay yes. on top of each other uh -huh. and make them a cursive font. Yep. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Um, but yes, so now it's a, a cursive font and it's awesome. So what we're going to do at this point is we'll come over to the, the actually looks pretty good for the most part. I'm going to actually ungroup it and move the T. Um, it's over a little more than I like. Bring it up. There we go. I still want it to touch because I like that. Um, but yeah, so now that we have that, we're going to zoom out a little bit and see how it looks. Um, so Audrey asked, and she's asked this once before. And hey that's why Audrey, I love said, it. She said, can I ask again why when you weld sometimes the image goes completely black? That's a great question. I wish we knew. Yeah, Audrey, so it's just, go. it's resorting. Say you were welding together a blue layer, a, a purple layer, and a black mm -hmm. layer. It's going result, to it's result back to a black. Um, you can change it again. It's totally fine. So that's awesome. Yay. I love it. Yes. Cindy, design space is the number one reason why people don't take action. 
um, because it's overwhelming. So I am so glad to teach it. We're here to help inspire you not only to make awesome projects, but equip you and teach you exactly how to do it. So, all right, now what we're going to do is we are going to zoom out. I'm going to move the layer that I have back here, um, my little, my big old square. I'm going to move it somewhere else because we're done with that for now. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to hold down my mouse and I'm going to select all of this layer. So I'm selecting all my font, my text letters. I'm selecting my weld result and then I'm going to release. Look over here on the right hand sidebar guys. Look at all these layers. That means they're all selected. Now within one button, which is our weld button today, mm -hmm. all that is going to turn into one beautiful image. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready for this? So in three, two, one, I'm pressing the weld button right down at the bottom right hand corner. Ta-da! There you have it. Look at that. The Gordons. This will be one layer and then our bottom will be one layer. And this, I feel like, is such a great training for you guys that are ready to get started with um, making a doormat and making some awesome projects. So let's head over to here, this one, and you can see we have this. So we're just going to attach this one. I'm gonna weld that, ta-da, and there we go. So I've gotta speed this up because I wanna make sure that you can make this project um, as well. So we're going to go ahead and close this square out. We're going to make sure we have our machine selected properly. So our maker three, and we are going to press make it. Kathy says, I just really use my Cricut. I just really, I maybe want to use my Cricut more with your help. Kathy, you will love, love, love using your Cricut more with our help. Now I'm having friends saying, Tanner, why two mats? Guys, this is a 30, what, 30 by 18? Yeah. It's a 30 by I 18. I think that's what you'd said. Yep, 30 by 18 doormat. And we are having to use two layers to get this down. Like, it's mm -hmm. going to look legit, legit. It's taking two 12 by 24 mats. Yes. This is legit. So, this is a big project, but I know you guys can do it. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take our freezer paper and get it set up. So, we're not mirroring this today, or maybe I should. I'm gonna put this, hold on, let me think about this with the freezer paper. I'm putting the freezer paper shiny side up, so this was going down, so I should mirror it. So this stick, the shiny side is the side that is going to be heat activated and stick to this side mm -hmm. of the doormat. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to mirror it. I'm going to make sure to mirror it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and mirror this right here. So we're turning mirror on. And I've heard multiple ways on how you can cut your, your freezer paper, whichever way you want to. I'm going to consult Courtney to see her opinion. Courtney, what's your favorite way to cut the freezer paper? Is it shiny side up? Shiny side down on the mat, no mirror. No mirror. Oh, right, because shiny side's down. So if shiny side's down, we don't need to turn that yes. mirror on. Thank you. Aaliyah caught us. Love it. So Jay Burns asked a great question. If it is welded, it's permanent. So Jay Burns uses attach because I do projects that change names. So if you are attaching, that helps. But attach is a paper clip. So attach means you can unattach. So if you're doing letters like we did today that overlap, when you cut that on the Cricut, guess what's going to happen? After you cut it on the Cricut, it's gonna look right on your mat, but here's what's gonna happen. I could actually peel up the G, peel up the O. It's still go cut those cut lines. So what I do for friends that wanna, say you wanna design this project, sell it, have a backup project, backup one, everything like that, here's my secret. I duplicate before I weld hide that layer and then save the project in Cricut Design Space. So I can go back to that project, I can go to my hidden layer, unhide it, do the, duplicate it, 
do the name that's for that customer, rinse and repeat. There's amazing processes that you can set up for yourself to build a business with your Cricut machine. So definitely check that out. So yay, I love it, Aaliyah. Thank you so much for that. I, yeah, as Aaliyah, we talk Aaliyah through gets it, she, she's she awesome. Saves us. She's awesome. It's awesome. What is okay? Freezer paper. This is awesome because it has a shiny side, and we're gonna put that down. And when we do, we're gonna peel it up. We're gonna stick the cut one down onto the mat. And then, my friend, here's what's gonna happen. The mini easy presses go activate, and it's gonna heat activate to stick this to our mat. It's gonna be glorious. So let's go ahead. I did not know this was gonna be so design space heavy today, but I feel like a lot of you guys definitely needed it. So, gonna... so just to repeat, when you are doing this, shiny side is going down, down on the mat when you cut. So shiny side down yep. on your Cricut mat. Do not mirror that way the shiny side you can heat activate yes. onto your doormat. Love it. Thank you, Lauren, as we almost, almost got a little tripped up. Now this is my favorite way to work with the freezer paper. I like to take it, cut it, and then here's what I do personally. I line it up on one side with one corner like so. Lay it on out. I have a very large piece of freezer paper here. And I'm just going to lay it down onto the mat. Make okay, sure so flat. Anna says, can you use parchment paper instead? I do not recommend no, parchment paper. No, this is paper. just a freezer paper strictly because that shiny side, um, you can, it is heat, heat activated and it kind of makes it to where it's sticky yes. um, on that mat so it stays in place. So when you go to spraying, it's not going to move around. Yeah, it's going to be, you're going to just follow along with what we're doing here and you'll see why you'll never, you'll never use vinyl. You'll never want to use anything else again. It's pretty awesome. So Debbie also says that she has done it with shiny side up. If you have an older blade, that oh. way it's not as likely to tear the paper. I love that. That's so a great I mean, if tip. you don't have a blade handy, a new blade handy, and you know that your blade is older, Debbie says she's done it. So I say, why not try it? Yeah, I love that. So we're gonna press continue on Design Space. I'm connecting to this machine. And guys, what we're gonna do while this is cutting, now there is a freezer paper setting. So it's like they knew we were making this. Um, we're gonna select freezer paper and press continue. And then we'll be able to load this into the machine. I'm not doing any special settings or anything like that. And Cheryl, I have no idea where you get this colorful flex seal. I, I'm new. This is this is new to me. I think someone said they found it on Amazon. Oh, cool. I mean, yeah, check it out. what does Amazon not have? I know, right? So. They have it all. They have it all. So I have two mats. So while that one's getting ready to cut, um, I'm going to move these door mats. Okay, let's press that flashing uh play button. Oh, if you've never tried this, guys, you're going to love, love, love this technique. Love, love, love it. All right. How often do you change the blade? Miss Linda, it's just like your oil change, depending on how much you use it. Great question. Mm -hmm. Love it. Now, guys, I still want to know, like, do we have anyone that's, like, still on the fence or maybe already is like, you know what, I need to join the membership. Go ahead and throw us a comment up. Let me know, I wanna see who's here. Um, as you guys already, I can already see we have a lot of members here uh -huh. that are amazing. Um, just so you know, we have 575 people no currently way! watching. No way! Yes, guys, we do. Guys, you all are showing out today. Unreal, I love it. Well guys, thanks so much for crafting alongside us. This is awesome. Okay. Oh, Virginia says that hey, she saw Virginia. a flex seal terracotta color. Ooh. You know me and Courtney's gonna be all yeah. over that. Yeah, that's all gonna be awesome. All over the terracotta colors. Love that, I love that my friends. Melissa says, I want to join so bad. Thank you about asking for it for my birthday next month. If you're thinking about this for Christmas, birthday, 
amazing time, but there is something limited here. Seven weeks till Christmas, and I want to help you have a handmade holiday. So it's time for you to maybe treat yourself to the membership because you can join during Black Friday from now until Black Friday. Like this deal is from now to Black Friday, so you have a few weeks, but there's only so much time you have until Christmas. So I want to help you do your Christmas projects. Like that's what my passion is, and that's something that you definitely want to take care of. So um, I would love to see you in the membership if you haven't already joined. What are some other questions or comments? Are there any other um, things in there while I'm getting ready to cut? <laughs> I am. Um, I mean, love it. Hmm. Jay Burns says he uses a ball of aluminum foil to help sharpen his blade to yes. get more life out of it. Is that cool? You what can totally hat. do that. You can totally do that. Um, been a member for two years. It keeps getting better each year. I love that. That is our goal here, my friends. We're just kind of like an amusement park. Like we're always coming out with new rods, everything like that that so, you can take advantage of. Andrea says she's currently a member, but she's still a little confused on how to renew to get the best price. So basically what you can do is if you go on there now and you sign up now, you will get, it's kind of, it stacks your membership. Yes, yes, And then yes, you yes. get locked in at that 151.88. Yes. for the rest of your membership i will you know what i'll make it easy if you're a member i will let you all know in the member only community how to do that because we're gonna make it really easy on our sign up page because i want to make sure Real it's quick, super simple you need what you just put in the trash you don't need that part i was having too much fun talking i know i'm sorry i hope i didn't rip this did you this is what i cut yeah, I know that's what you cut. It maybe it fell off. It did. It fell off on the front. Right there, it is. I was too busy talking about membership. Yep. Um, I totally ripped it apart. I'll cut another. No big deal. No big deal. Let's go ahead and. So just so you all, if you all are making it and you don't make Tanner's mistake, I was too Remember, busy you out. need the real. You're. Not like a normal, what you're normally cutting out. You you're need the that. Opposite. You're yeah. doing the opposite you're because the you stencil. need that relief. So, because that's what you're going to spray I love on. It. Hannah got confused watching me peel it up. You guys are cracking <laughs> me up. I love it. I love it. Um, I, now, I saw a friend that just commented and was like, Do we get the commercial license? Yes. yes. So, with the year membership, if you join with the year, which is what's on sale today, you're going to get access to our commercial license. So you could make this project and sell it. Um, you could take our designing, you customize it, uh -huh. you sell this, and it's completely, um, I just cut a piece of butcher's paper now. I'm rolling, <laughs> Everybody's saying that they love watching live mistakes. Listen, y'all, we this. are human just like you all. And if I could count, I, there's no way that you can count on 10 hands the amount of mistakes that we make <laughs> on the regular. On the daily. Oh my goodness. I love it. You guys are cracking me up. I'm having too much fun. It's because Lauren told me how many is here. And I'm just blown away on a Wednesday afternoon. 579 now, buddy. Wow. On a Wednesday afternoon. You, yep. guys are, you guys are awesome. So let's go ahead and cut this. Love it. She so Creasy says, I'm so technically challenged. Can I download fonts and images on my iPad? She doesn't have a computer. Hey, that's okay. So she's bumming from someone else since she just joined. No, you're totally fine. You can work with your uh, cut files and fonts on your iOS device. And guess who has you covered with training? We have a training for you. So if you don't want to look for it, here's what I would do. Email customer service. Say, hey. I need to work with this on my iOS app. Can you help me? And we will we will take care of you. Now, let's look at this cut. Making sure my blade is well taken care of because it some of this did not look like it cut very well, but it's okay. Um, we're going to save this because obviously we can't make any more mistakes, but I'm going to go ahead and load up this first map once again. And what I'm going to do for this one, Gonna leave that there and load it in right like this. So 
Yay! Okay. Now make sure when you are weeding. I'm gonna be very careful. You're weeding the inside, not mm -hmm. the outside. Thank you, Lauren. You're welcome. Thank, thank, thank you. As I obviously knew that, I was just too busy chatting. So Purple Pixie asked, fun. how do you get into the giveaway? So I'm fixing to <gasps> drop you a Lauren's link right you. here. Um, and it is going to take you to the, if I can get it copied and pasted, it's going to take you to the sign up for the Maker Boot Camp. Um, you sign up one time, yes. your, your birth date, your email, your name, and your phone number, you're signed up one time and you're entered to win all the giveaways. So all the giveaways we have left, you're going to love it. So we do check those, um, check to see who um, signed up and then- There's bonus entries if Then you, we go back and look at everyone who commented on the live from the day before. Yeah, so there's bonus entries if you comment on live. So there's, let me explain that. So you have to sign up for registration. We had an email about this I wanted to address. So say that you um, sign up and then you leave a comment on YouTube. All your comments on YouTube is bonus entries so we may pick from a YouTube comment but what we do is we verify that you're registered because you have to be registered for the giveaway to even get qualified for bonus entries I hope that makes sense to all of you right um, but yeah you just register once we've had so many already register it's amazing okay. um, I think we're almost to 2,000 that's registered over this week here at boot camp so if you're like I want to register to make sure I get entered to win definitely go ahead and get registered. So notice that I'm in proper style. Here's my favorite thing if you're looking down right here with me. Mm -hmm. I'm peeling this up, but I'm leaving all of these other layers right here in place. And let me explain to you why. So when I have these right here in place, this is going to allow me to peel this back. And when I get all of this picked up, which you want to be careful because you don't want to rip anything. So I'm just taking it easy. And again, my cut was not perfect in some areas, which is fixable. Um, I'm leaving this down so I can put in these little extra layers. So just like so. Okay. Some of it just did not cut right, which is unfortunate. All right, all right. So we're getting through here. Okay. Now this is gonna be something that I don't think you will have a problem if it does rip a little bit. Now Hopefully. mine's ripped a lot in a lot of different areas. So if you're wondering if this is normal, I would put this in the column of no. Like I've never, you, if you've watched any of our videos about this, anytime that I cut live and whatnot, I never have these issues. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. You also need to make sure that you do not use a standard grip mat oh, or a strong yeah, this grip. Not, this is a light grip. Yes, I love the light grip for this because you see how many times I've laid it down, I've picked it up. You might start feeling like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. But when you start seeing me use the, the mini easy press on this, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Okay, this is overwhelming to me, so I just wanna just let you all know, this piece right here is definitely overwhelming. So anyway, what we're gonna do real quick is I'm gonna sit this to the side, and we're gonna weed our other one just to get all of this ready. And the best part is the flex seal is the easy part of this tutorial. So notice I'm leaving this down here. And there's just areas, I think my blade, I'll be replacing the blade because it's not the pressure. Obviously the pressure cut really well, but this right here, you can just see areas that it did not want to cut. That's so strange. Who was it that gave us that hack about doing it the other way and mirroring it? Maybe we should have tried it. <laughs> uh, maybe. I've cut this so Rebecca, many times. yeah, the mat is seems to be pretty tacky for a lot grip, honestly. Yeah. But but if this one's new, so this is a new lot grip. Yeah. We wanted to have two mats for today's project. But nonetheless, this is definitely like a blade issue for what we're seeing here. Okay. Here we go. Like the reason it's ripping is that it actually didn't cut. So anyway. So another thing you could do, if you see that it's not cut, just take, take your- Take that craft knife. Yeah, just take your craft knife. Love that. Um, and awesome. take, do a few cuts, would, and sit, that'll keep you from having to 
recut the whole thing. Yes, 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 yes. That's a great oh, tip. Oh, uh, by the way, we're up to 626. 626. Now. You guys are ready to see this doormat come to life. I am living for it. So Faye is asking, can you use vinyl on this? I highly recommend this freezer paper technique. And I want you to yeah. see why, Faye. So you're going to see this here in a moment. Now, what I want to do, I don't know what you Pull can see. Pull it down see. just a little bit right there. Perfect. Um, I want to show you guys. We're about to give away this handbag from yesterday, so get ready for that. Today's giveaway is the mini Easy Press. So we've been raving about it. You're about to see it in action here. And I've lost my, I found it. I just want to make sure how many inches I have on each side. So I have three inches on the left. I think I have too many inches over here. Um, I have five, so I need to move it over some. I did general area. Let's try right about there. Let's see this. So we're at four and a half. We're at four, so I'm gonna bring it over just another hair. Right about there. This should be, now we're at five. Now I need to move it over. <laughs> now I need to, okay, we're gonna do this. I wanna make this perfect. Love it. Okay, let's look here. We're at five, I swear. Now I'm at three and a half. This is the worst part of any project. Just, just barely. Right, I know. That's four and a half. Hold it at four. And then four. Oh my gosh, look, four. <gasps> four. Okay, perfect. So we're looking good there. Perfect. Now let's take the easy press and start heating this up. I have this on level two, and you're gonna start seeing that this is going to heat activate and where all of it is not wanting to stay down, it's gonna start wanting to lay down. Now, if you can do this with a large heat press and then use a mini, I would say that would probably be ideal if we're talking like dreams. So look, this area we've heated up, this is the best area. And I'm just gonna go slow. We can go into a live Q and A, Lauren, cause I'm yeah. gonna be doing this for a while. Um, if we have any friends that's like, Tanner, I have a question for you. You know what, we'll open up for any questions. Absolutely. So craft questions, personal questions, membership questions, we're here to answer all day. Julia's asking how does she enter the um, giveaway. I'm dropping that Yay. link now. Thank you, Lauren. So that you all can enter to that. Enter that. So, um, so if you've not entered, you won't be able to, to win the purse today. But if you enter, you may have, you'll uh, have a chance. The bigger giveaways are coming. Right. Do you want to tell them what the giveaways are? Ooh. I'm so excited. So tomorrow's giveaway Ooh. Is, is a it? Cricket Maker yes. 3. Cricket Maker 3 tomorrow. Just casually. Just casually. You know, no big deal. No big deal. And then Friday. Friday is the sublimation printer. Ooh. Everyone has been saying, I want to get into sublimation. I want to do sublimation, but they are, I mean, printers are hard to come by right now, yeah. but everything is hard to come by right now. <laughs> um, oh so, and, and they're not cheap. They're no, not. It's a commitment. It is. It is a commitment that takes lots of time and lots of effort. Yes. Um, but that's also something that Makers Gonna Learn has been working on is oh, yes. our sublimation <gighs> course. Yes, it's available that, today. $70 off. If uh -huh. you join in for the pre-sale, you're going to get in to Maker's Gonna Sublimate. Sorry to cut you off. I just got so excited for Maker's Gonna Sublimate. Yes. Uh, no, no. That's, I mean, it. that's where I was going with that because <laughs> that sublimation printer. Um, it's so good. It's like we, we're excited to give one of those away. Yeah. Um, but what I was getting at is the sublimation, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of trial yes. and a lot of error. Yes. Um, but that's what we are doing for mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. um, is we are doing all that trial and error and teaching you um, what not to do. What not to do because <laughs> we've, you see us making mistakes today. Tanner's been, you know, we all yeah. make mistakes. We're going to teach you. Even on what lives, to we make mistakes. Um, but we've been making our fair share of mistakes with sublimation yes. and so that way you all don't have to make those mistakes and use your money to buy more materials. Um, yeah, we've I, got that covered for my you. My promise to you guys with Makers Gonna Sublimate is that if you sign up for the class, I guarantee you, you will save the cost to register in just the blanks that you're not gonna waste because you take the class. Um, that is our 
promise to you and I solely believe it because it is so hard um, to not make mistakes when you're first trying stuff out. So if you sign up for the class, you're gonna have our cheat sheet on everything to make sure you don't do, which is pretty fantastic. So yay, does the 2720 work well with, for sublimation? I do believe that is one that I've seen a lot of people use, so I don't see why not. Um, PETA says, really confused about which printer is best for sublimation. In the class, I actually go over heat presses, what heat source do you need, what printer do you need, how to convert the printer, uh, a converted printer between a, like a sawgrass printer. Um, there's a lot of things in there that you can take advantage of. So I'm gonna heat this area down too. There was also, so I'm gonna come over there real quick. There, I've seen like three or four comments. Yes. Asking who is with us, who is with oh us? Oh my goodness, please come over and chat yeah. because I'm just working away. You can continue since, chatting. Especially since we have new people every oh day. Oh my goodness, I love it. We got to interview Lauren. You need to see yesterday's. Lauren, who are you? How did you end up here? I'm twisting this around now. <laughs> um, Wait, say hi. Hi. I'm working on so, my craft. My name is Lauren. I'm one of the newer members. Yes. I'm here at Makers Can Learn. Um, Lauren gets to work directly with Courtney and I on all our crazy Yeah. Ass. So, personal assistant, everything else. Um, but I'm also helping host some lives yes. while we are kind of um, in between. And listen, we're it. having so much fun. It's been amazing. I mean, we absolutely adore yes. everything that Lauren has been able to do. If you are brand new, you've got to go watch yesterday's because she gave us all the intel about her. And I know you guys want to know it too. Yeah. So she kind of got interviewed at the end of yesterday's live stream, which was fantastic. And that's, um, uh, we were actually talking about that the other uh, last night. I think we're going to work on doing one where, you know, you all can send us um, yes. questions oh. and like we just sit down and all craft together yes. and answer your questions. Yes, we love that. So one thing I wanted to share with you guys, I bumped this up for some reason. I just did not pay attention. I left this at level two. And that was taking me a lot longer than level three for the mini easy press. So if you are you know, wondering what level. <laughs> I'm going back to my seat. If you're wondering what level this would be best at, level three, obviously hotter the better for this part of the process. Now, if we can have the overhead, I'll give you guys some tips here. Make sure that your freezer paper, it's very delicate, um, so make sure it's laying the right way. Um, so I'm trying to make sure to be mindful of our little strip right here. Um, make sure to not mess it up too bad at all. Um, did you center that? Did I center this? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to double check that my, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this box and this is the edge of, I need to move this over to the right some. Thank you. Oh, Little don't thank me. Up. Thank your people. Thank you all. Woohoo. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to center the little um snowflake here so if this is here the edge of my snowflakes are right here i want the other edge of my snowflake to be right here as well how does this look can you guys see I this on overhead is this looking better this is where the snowflake will begin yeah i think we're good now are we looking better okay sweet. yeah just move it down to meet with that bottom yes part. so this there was a little go. smaller strip and we're going to deactivate that as well. Julie asked, what's your suggestion for a glue gun, please? Oh my gosh, we use the Lynn Lily Hot Glue mm -hmm. Gun. Now, have you got to work with the Lynn Lily Hot Glue Gun? Oh my gosh. I love it the Lynn Lily Hot Glue Gun. It is a game changer. It's a mini hot glue gun, which it's wireless. It's a mini. You get a lot of things with the mini that you would never expect. So you get wireless, you get um, a precision tip which changed the game for me using uh -huh. hot glue in certain crafts. So it's a game changer. Now you guys might be like, I don't have time to do this, but honestly, this is so fun. Like this is the fun part of crafting that I want you all to see that like this is one of those things where you can make or break. And this is a skill that you're gonna learn and be able to take with you. So I have more classes. If you wanna become like a freezer paper expert, there are mm -hmm. more classes at Makers and Learn. We just added one from my good friend Carly Hall. So Carly Hall has one where she, um, 
I don't know if she used Flex Seal or not for hers, but nonetheless, it's amazing. And she teaches you how to use it with a paint bottle. Um, so she didn't use Flex Seal on that one, but you could totally use it if you want. So awesome. Glenda said she just registered for sublimation class. Yay, welcome, Melissa Glenda. just joined the MGL membership. <gasps> Melissa, welcome, Listen, welcome, welcome. De yes, I do use the silhouette. Um, and I Woo am hopefully come Q1. January Q1, I'm going to, I have got my silhouette set up at my desk here. <laughs> yes. I've got my own station. In the craft room, we have all the crickets and everything set up. And I have my own um, silhouette <laughs> station set up at my desk. At desk. So my oh. goal is to have that um, ready in Q4. That will be part of the membership. It will not be an extra charge from my understanding. No, yes, it will be included for our members. So our goal is to teach you how to master your docketing machine. And if you use a silhouette, we want you to master your silhouette. So yeah, that is definitely part of it. And there's, there's a lot of people that go back and forth. Yes. And I can see that there's certain for sure. Things. Some people like print and cut on a silhouette because they do full page. Oh. where you don't get on uh, a lot of our other machines, like our Cricut. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... And I'll be real honest with you guys. Um, I've never done the matteless cutting on the silhouette yet, but you all have to understand, like, I've used the <laughs> Silhouette Cameo one, the yeah. first one, for years, years. And I think that just, like, shows that they definitely make a quality machine. Yes. Not and I mean, it doesn't. I'm just acknowledging right, silhouette also. Right. Um, so, yeah, I'm real excited to learn myself and then as well, and also teach you all um, yeah, the matless cutting. I think that's going to be a real game changer. Yes. During the summer, we spent time learning how to matless cut on our Cricut because um, they Cricut came out with their own material to do matless cutting. The smart vinyl. Yes. Well, we were like. Smart vinyl is so expensive, can we do it with regular vinyl? Can I do it with my 651? And the answer was yes. So if you guys are like, what am I talking about? Definitely check it out. It's on the channel. Um, you're going to love that. Yes, Jasmine, the paper does stick to the mat when you heat it. Yes, now, that's the hardest part. Now, this yeah. next part is going to be easy. I'm trying to get this to lay down here. Okay. Yeah, someone says, I plan to use my Cricut, but learn the Silhouette software. Um, the Silhouette software is more it's like... It is. It's, it's more like I, Illustrator. It's more like Illustrator. Um, you have a little bit more um, things that you... I think a few more things, that, different things that you can do. Um, but I still like the Cricut. Like, I, now that Atmosphere. I've been into design yeah. space, I like the ease of Cricut. Um, it's definitely something if your tech savvy silhouette is more... Um, probably on your level. Level, um, and I'm not saying that Cricut's not, but it's. I mean, I love the Cricut software, but yes. there's things that you can do in, uh, you know, the Cricut world that, or there's limitations there that you don't have when you are using the silhouette. So what he is doing now is going back and just getting those middle pieces yes. to those letters. Mm -hmm. because that's going to make it that's going to make a big difference and if you do use the big heat press this, this is, is where why. the mini press is going to come into play oh, big yeah. time oh yeah so yes you can use the big heat press for this um but this my will be only easier. thing is if you use the big heat press you just have to really watch um when those edges of like that snowflake there's a good chance of you getting those and um creasing them now so, here's my secret hack Reverse tweezers, y'all. Reverse tweezers to make sure you place these exactly where you're supposed to. Do you see how easy it is when I have a reverse tweezer? And see how he put the letters back in there? Oh, yeah. That's so that he hack. knows exactly where to use it there's and no, then use no your map. reverse tweezers. There's no hard work here when you use the reverse tweezers. Um, just so you know, we're up to 657. 657, you guys are really ready to see this project. Oh my goodness, my friends. If you are joining in and you are like, Tanner, what are we making here today? Let me just share it with you. We're using yes. Flex Seal. we're making a doormat. Uh, had some kick butt, in my opinion, design space training earlier. So definitely rewind if you are struggling with design space. I would love, love, love to help you personally. And how you can do that is join our year membership. When you join the year membership, you're getting access 
to our 30 days to master your Cricut challenge. And honestly, guys, so much more. Way um, to go, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle says, Tanner, I need to be on payroll. Was just chatting with a lady from a local women's Facebook group Aww. about sublimation and talked up Makers Gonna Learn membership. Oh, yes, ma'am. We love it. Thank you, my friend. You guys are awesome. Okay. I'm going to put that one down. Oh, we just have a few more to put down, and then we are oh, we're ready there. for the We're almost there. Now, again, we're doing it in the studio, so we're going to be very mindful about our setup here and make sure that everything is taken care of. Um, so I'm just going to grab one more. So Nicole says, I'm thinking about buying the StarCraft Solo when it comes Ooh. out. Will we be doing videos with that machine as well? Now, Nicole, I have the Solo in my possession. I have not unboxed it yet. I have not unboxed it yet. You guys know I'm good friends with all the people at 651 or 143 Vinyl, excuse me. Um, so I'm not sure what we, our plan is. I, I do know our plan is to take care of our customers. Absolutely. Um, so if it becomes the next machine that everybody wants, you guys know we, we got you. But I'm not so sure about it just yet. Give us some time. Um, we have our busy season here, so we're getting real busy with all our traditional crafts. So that is something is definitely on our radar, definitely considering it, um, but just not so sure yet. Um, but I have been in meetings with them about that machine, and I am so excited. Because here's the thing, I, I'll tell you exactly what I told them. I think the Solo is for the people that are ready to have something a little bit more industrial, than your traditional Cricut. The O um, in Gordon's. Yes, I can't find my O. Uh, I've lost my O, like my little pieces right here. Was there another one where the you cut it the second let's time? See. Or the let's first see, time and see. messed up? Uh, maybe. I'll just borrow. <laughs> Megan says, Tanner, I feel like we need to give you your own advice and just open the box. Open the box. Well, guys, it's not that I can't open the box. It's that <laughs> I know when I open it, I will be committed. You guys know I find something, I go all in. So I'm kind of limiting myself right now. Obviously, I'm wearing my main hat, which is live streams. And to be honest, y'all, I'll just be honest with you. We are recruiting. We are in interviews every single day. It feels uh -huh. like interviewing different um, team members and things like that. So we are super excited. I borrowed a piece, but this is from. So we're else. gonna improvise. This is again like. I love that. Yep. I mean, it looks pretty good. Here we are, you all. It's not the same as the other O, but listen, it's here part of design. Are. Here we are. And we working are. with what we got. Obviously, if you're working um, not on a live stream with over 600 people, thank mm -hmm. you guys so much for being here. Again, we're about to announce the giveaway winner. Um, details linked below to enter to win um, for all our giveaways. But you could slow down. You don't have to go this fast. Yeah. There's no need. But I the mean, rush just... is for you guys. We're trying to make this time worth it for you all. We don't want to keep you on here yeah. so long that you right. get bored. Um, we're trying to get through here and teach you and yes, it's just, it's okay, help you so learn. Now, sorry to cut you off. No. I am taking the butcher's paper. I'm taking it and I'm just going to tape lightly around here to protect my work surface. So I'm taping this here. That's going to stay good. I'm going to take another piece. Protect this side over here. Melissa, yes, they did. We did unbox the Glow Forge and oh, have been using Glow Forge. it. Uh, please move that coach purse before you start spraying flex Thank seal. you, my friend. I'm gonna move it all the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> now, oh, I just got grandfathered in. Go, Yay! Brenda! Woohoo! Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I'm gonna be securing down where this meets. Uh, making sure that it's good, probably like so. Making sure that that is okay. Just like this, because those are the two main areas where they do meet. Taking care of that. I do get to take this off over here, just like so. Perfect. All right. And this is butcher's paper, so if you are joining if you're joining in the sublimation class, you're gonna absolutely love being able to use all of this awesome butcher's paper. It's really handy. It's yeah. really, really handy. I love it. Yeah. Butchers, if you're gonna do sublimation, 
you um, butcher's paper Friday's, is something you have to have. Friday's video where we make the sublimation blanket together, Lauren was helping me get it ready right before this. Um, you're you're gonna need a lot of butcher's paper. Tanner or uh, Aaliyah keeps yelling Tanner about the gap. Where is the gap? I mean, I think so, it's the gap so with the gap right line here. and the snowflake. The line right here. This line. It's what I, I that's what I think as well. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure I lined it up properly to where it's not so um <laughs> I'm only worried about it like looking a little woo. That's what I'm only concerned about. I'm not concerned about them touching right. or anything like that. I just want to move it up a little so that it is pretty good. At this point in the lob, I, I'm just hundred percent committed right here to try to make it look mm -hmm. the best. I should have. What I want you guys to do is to be mindful when you line it up. So what I did was this piece down here, I, my piece of freezer paper was was wavy. Yeah. They weren't lined up properly. So right. that was a that was a tanner fail. It's fine. Um, but we're gonna be good. So now right. we are going to shake this up. And while you're shaking that up, CJ Joy said, "Can we still get the sublimation class for the sale price?" Yes, ma'am. I'm dropping that link right here. Yeah. You can grab that sublimation uh, now, course for the sale price. For friends, if you have not joined the membership. Can we, I just want the, anyone that's not a member to get ready and look. Out of the 600 and so friends we have here. 53. 653. Hello, everyone. Hope you're excited. I'm about to start spraying. If you are a member, I want you to throw up an emoji so that all our friends that may be considering joining our friend, like our community and our family can see that and know that they are going to be joining such amazing friends. So drop your emojis if you're a member and if you're on the fence, look at all these people that's already said yes to a great crafting time. So woohoo, I'm so excited. All right, let's go overhead. I'm going to start spraying. This is going to be great. I'm super excited. I'm super nervous. Lauren, I'm getting nervous. Don't be nervous. Here we go. Don't this be nervous. Good. We're fixing to see all these emojis and then oh you're going, Oh my goodness. Overhead. Yes. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Now this is probably something that you may want to do in layers. That's um, what I'm kind of thinking about. Like notice how yeah. I'm like doing multiple multiple sprays. I do want to give you guys a review. Like it splatters. Um, it's thick. You can see it's thick. She's thick. She is thick. She's thick. This is very thick, which I think is a good thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like it's going to be durable for a while. And that's what you want in a doormat. Yes. You want it to be durable. Um, you don't want that to wear off because obviously you're going to have a lot of people. Um, the, t the wear and tear. Right. If you're selling this, like you definitely want to make sure it's taken care of okay look at that oh look at all these emojis i know love it so guys if you're on the fence black friday deal has opened up just for you to say yes and to get crafting with us we want you to unlock everything and remember if you become a member today you're gonna have access to make all the projects that you see here at maker bootcamp and these projects are advanced projects that you're not gonna be able to make you cannot make yesterday's project without the resources and i'm not saying you couldn't make this without our membership oh yeah why would you not want to have all the resources mm -hmm. just there for you download it and rock it now this will take a minute to to draw so we're gonna let this sit here and we'll answer any now there any was questions. someone okay someone just said could you do that with spray paint as well <sighs> You could, but if you were buying spray paint, buy Flex Seal so that you yeah. have the durability. Um, I do not think the um, spray paint would work as well. So, yeah. Also, um, the paint that we are using, it's not fumeless, but we are in a very well ventilated craft Yes, I talked about room. that earlier. Make your, Please we have all make our sure doors if open. you all are doing this. Yes. Open a yes, door, yes, yes. do it Go outside. outside. Go outside. Yeah. Like, that would be my tip. Go outside. Take care of it. Um, yeah. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. It does. It does. It does. I'm going to get this area right here. Okay. Oh my goodness. I love, love, love this. Yay. I love it. Oh yes, Tanner. This is so much quicker than the paint method. Uh -huh. Exactly. 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 Could use um, a cool use of Flex Seal. Yay. <gasps> Purple Pixie just joined. Welcome, yep. welcome, welcome, my friend. We're so, so excited to have you here. Yay. It is way more durable. Where is than the acrylic unattached paint. place? I've seen like two or three people saying that. Are you doing that right here? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. 
they sit on their left. So this is my left. This is my right. I think they would see it the same way I would. They sit on their left. Yeah. I don't know. Unattached. Lauren. Either way, we are trying to get through this very quickly I know. for you it is guys. Going to be great. <laughs> um, but I'm go how long should I let this? How long? I'll, I'll give it like another minute. Yeah, we'll give, give it another, another minute. minute. If it was to, if it was me and I was doing this to make for I someone, would I would let it sit for no yeah. less than. I mean, no, I would at least an hour. For yeah, sure. for sure. Um, but we're live, so yeah. I want to see your reveal. We're we were up to seven oh three by 703, the way. Seven oh three. Stop it. <gasps> Oh my word, guys! Oh my! Oh my gosh! Oh my! Yeah, y'all, y'all. I mean, and this the is a quick. Hoodie. This is a very quick doing it. Think if you would have. Oh yeah. Taking your time. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not saying that Tanner As didn't. I got flexed all over. I'm me not somehow. saying Tanner didn't, but I mean you oh, have yeah. to. Oh yeah. We take credit where credits due. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty fast project. Now I'm not gonna remove all these pieces, but what I want to do show you, I'm gonna set that onto the side. This is what it's gonna look like when you're done. This is the finished beautiful project. See how all these letters went down. I want to give you guys the review. This flex seal is like glue. It's glued down right here and it's secured. Mm -hmm. I mean, the sharpness, the quality, the flex seal is going to last. It is yes. durable. Yes. Durable, durable. And yeah, it's phenomenal. These little pieces, the detail, the edges, everything looks so good, my friends. And I want to see you make yours too. So, and you don't have to use a snowflake. Think? What do you guys think? No no snowflake. You could use you, so many things. I mean, there's so many different avenues you could go through. So that would many. be good. I love it. Will the mat hold up in rain and snow? Yes. Yes, uh -huh. it will. Because Absolutely. if you could feel this, Nicole just joined. Welcome, 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 Nicole. If you could feel this doormat um, and feel like how it's not moving, rain, snow, sleet, mm -hmm. anything like that, this flex seal is, it's called flex silinette. Boom, flex seal. And you It'll know what? It's linked down below for you. The more I think about it, we had a comment that said, I wouldn't let it sit for too long or you may pull up pieces of the letter if it dries. That's true. That is true. I didn't even, I did not think that of that. True. That is very could, true. Because it is very secure. So I kind of, maybe I give it a I'm little more time. To... Yeah. Give it a little more time, but I, you, you all are going to rock it. You're going to be able to make the same thing and rock it with the flex seal. You're going to use the design space skills you learned today. You're going to do the freezer paper technique. You're going to have fun with it. You're going to have such a great one. If you are thinking about selling these, I say make one for yourself first, master the skills, test it out, and then go for it. Like you're going to be able to sell quite a bit of these and it's a great Christmas gift. Sherry's going to buy supplies tonight. Yay, Sherry. I love, love, love that. Woohoo. Yeah. How many projects like that do you think one could yield? I mean, you really didn't use that that much flex seal. I don't feel like I could probably make four. I would say four out of this, and that would be that would be generous. I feel like. Yeah. But again, right now we've made two. We've made two, so this is our. We just made our second. I feel like we could easily pull two more out of this. For sure. If not more. For um, sure. So that's awesome. So oh, my my black hand. <laughs> Ordered supplies already. Woohoo, guys! I you're can't gonna wait love to see all of your all's uh, mats. And oh. air, not just your mats, but everything that y'all have great. done um, yeah. this week for boot camp on our Facebook page. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm been checking group. it every oh night it's to so see good. <laughs> to see people's uh, it's awesome. crafts. You guys are awesome. And again, my friends, if you've not joined, go ahead. Here's our deals. I'm just gonna go and order year membership, forty dollars off, lowest price, grandfathered in. Coupon code is best. Go yearly. I'm actually gonna share with you right before we head off because we've got to toot and scoot. Um, I want to share with you where you can go to get registered. So click the link Lauren just dropped and then you'll come to this page right here. The Black Friday deal is ending midnight on Black Friday. So definitely don't miss out. Now you can click the orange button and you'll want to make sure to go best value. That's what the deal is for. So annual membership, you get all these bonuses and so much more. You want to click the join now button and you enter in that coupon code and you're going to be locked in at the rate you're joining at today. Enter in that coupon code BEST and you're applying it 
and you can check out with PayPal. You can use your favorite credit debit card, anything like that. And it is awesome. What was the question from our friend right there? Yeah. Will I be able to get my files that drop on Thursday? I just realized they come in our emails. I've been a member since August. Terry, if you are an active member, you can log in right now and download any of your releases, everything like that. Um, if you want to make sure you're getting your emails from Makers Gonna Learn, email customer service. They will check our newsletter list to make sure you're on it as a member um, to get those releases. So yay, I love it. Saving for your membership. Woohoo, we cannot wait. Our giveaway winner, real oh, yeah. quick. I just I'm dropped the it. customer service email for yay. those that need hi at makersgonnalearn.com. Now our winner today, our winner today, do you have the name? I have the name. Okay, I'm not even gonna pull up the you're name gonna, again. You're gonna drum roll? Oh. Our winner for the coach purse today is Amber Dean 62. Woohoo! Amber, Amber Dean 62. Congratulations! Yay. Yay! You have 48 hours to go over, claim your prize, send us your shipping address. That's all we need. Yep. You have Hi registered. At makersgonnalearn.com. Yes, thank you so much, my friends. I am so, so excited. Who's ready to get crafty now? Who's going to sign up for a membership? Who's going over to the site to download all the goodness to make their own? Like go work on it, design it, have fun. Tomorrow we're giving away a Cricut Maker 3. And it is at you 9 could... o'clock Eastern time tomorrow night. What she said, 9 o'clock Eastern tomorrow night. It is a different time tomorrow, tomorrow night. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. You will get to find out who entered to win the Cricut Maker 3. It could be you if you registered properly. I love seeing everybody congratulate I Amber. Know. That's awesome. The love, awesome. the love in this community. I, so I say it every time. So good. The love in this community is oh, where it's at. Brantley's joining, signing up now. Yay, go Yay. Brantley. Guys, thank you so much. Thanks for attending day three of boot camp. Two more days to go, two more days to get crafty with us. Tomorrow is an explosion box and Friday we're making a sublimation blanket together. It's going to be fantastic and it's awesome. So see you tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, go watch the previous days, get plugged in. We'll see you back here real soon. Anything else? That's all we got awesome, for today. Awesome, my friends. See you later. Bye, Bye. guys. Um, an hour and a half. Was that an hour and a half? Mm.